Oh, here's another timer. Yes, we've gone far away from clocks, haven't we? I changed the codec on Hypercam. Changed it from Lagerlif lossless codec to full frames uncompressed. So this can be the test for that. Ten minute test. And we'll see the difference. The Lagerif lossless codec seems to be okay with handling very tiny or very small or smallish recording areas. If the recording area is too big, it seems not to do very well. It desyncs the sound, and uh, I think that's about it. It might lag as well, but uh, so that one down there is failing to swim. I'm not sure who the timer is or what these people have to do with being a timer. I'm not sure what numbers they represent. It looks like there's a bit of lag. I see some lag. Oh, the loser is coming, coming, coming. He's stopped. And now that guy's gone. I can't see him anymore. So we've got four of them, and we've got three numbers, plus those little numbers at the bottom. Who represents what? Do they represent anything, or are they just moving? Well, someone's disappeared. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. Do they all just disappear as the time ticks away? You won't see them anymore. So about two minutes went, and the middle, the second middle guy left. So he represented two minutes, and he's gone. Maybe we'll figure it out as time goes on. <sighs> so I've done quite a few clocks. Well, not really clocks. I've done quite a few timers. Let's look at a timer because these aren't clocks. They're... Now that guy's gone. Alright, is he coming back? I still see a little bit there. He's coming back. Nope, he's going. Flapping away. Oh, now that guy's gone. Now that this comes coming back. Bug eyed. Bug eyed one is coming back. Was, uh, I watched another documentary. This one was The Secrets of Japan showed the wildlife in Japan. They had little mud mud things, I uh, don't know the name now. Mud crawlers, maybe? These little things that can't live in water and can't live in the air, so they have to go in the water to make themselves wet. They bob their eyes inside to get their circulation going. These little fi fish things, they've got no legs and they've got little arms crawling along, they can jump. They go burrowing in the sand and spit up the sand to make a little uh, wall. Don't know their names, <laughs> but that guy's got little bug eyes. And he's going, going, he's still there. The top one's going, the red-eyed thing. Little, I don't know, those name of those glasses, rose glasses, rose tinted. He's gone. No, but I see a little splash, I see a little splash. No, he's gone. Well, the rose tint is gone. Just bug eyed and blue eyes, blue tint. So what did that? Oh, he's back. Okay. No, nope, he's just he's just getting some air time. Then he'll leave. Probably he's just on the brink of death. Maybe that third one's still swimming back there. Oh, we're nearly halfway there, and I still don't know what these people represent. Now that guy's going bug eyed. Bug eyed going and rose tint going. Almost halfway mark. He's got a big grin as well. Bug eyed grin. I suppose I don't really give. I have to give much of a shit about the quality of these, they're just me looking at some timer for 10 minutes.
not much there in that. Not even a time. Oh, it's not. It's a timer, but not really. It's just the same timer ticking down. You got some people swimming. You don't know what they're doing, or what they're representing. Are they meant to be numbers? Maybe the top one's a top number, and who knows? Bug guys. He's gone again for a little bit. And the top one's going. The bottom one hasn't really moved. He just sort of stayed there in the middle. Oh, four minutes left. Top one's gone. Bug eyed is just hanging on, barely getting his hands in. It looks like Rose Tint's gone for good. No, he's coming back. Now this one's getting sucked away. Bug-eyed back. Dragging them away. Oh, here he comes, bro. Where is the middle one? These ones keep coming back, but that... This third one hasn't come back for... Ages, eight minutes. Eight minutes ago. Well, when it was eight minutes, he was there, but a little less than that, he didn't last long. And the others just seem to keep popping back, like the top one. Bug-eyed. This blue one hasn't disappeared either, but... Uh, three minutes. nice thing about looking at these clocks is you know you're never going to look at them again. Well, I know I never am going to look at them again. Look at them once, ten minutes, there you go, never again. Well, it depends how long I feel like doing this. How long do I feel like looking at a clock? Well, not even a clock. Yeah, like I've said for the third time, this isn't a clock. Timer, let's look at a timer. I want to look at clocks. More interesting clocks. Clocks like the candle. The candle's sort of like a clock. Not really though, but somewhat. They started off well, the interesting clocks. First we had the clocks with the numbers, then the numerals, then the nothing. That's the type of clock I want to look at. Whatever clock, a sundial, that's like a clock, haven't looked at one of them yet. A sand, the time, the sand timer is sort of clockish. These people swimming, if I knew what they represented, maybe they'd be a clock, but I don't know.